Hello, so welcome back. Uh, last time we didn't, I didn't prove that the guest editions were working. I think the problem was that uh, I had not uh, restarted the system. So that's what I will do now. So right now I will just shut down and restart the virtual machine. So sudo shut down now. Yep, and the system's going down. And I will uh, pause the screencast and reboot and, and restart when, uh, when all that delay is over. Okay, so just to show that the VirtualBox guest editions are <coughs> indeed installed, I'm just going to go over here and just copy something from the host, which is the Windows operating system, to the guest, which is the Ubuntu operating system, and paste, and voila, it works. Okay, so right now, what we're going to do right next is install the classic menu. This allows us to click on something like, you know, Windows, or like the Start button in Windows to show all the programs that we have. It's not installed by default. I don't know why, but anyways, let's just take care of that. So sudo apt add, not apt to get, but apt add repository. PPA, full colon, D-I-E-S-C-H, slash testing. And enter the password, apt add, sudo apt add. Hmm. All right, let me just look at this. Sorry about that. That's, it's actually apt add dash repository. Continue. Okay, that didn't take long at all. So now, sudo apt get update and sudo apt get install classic menu dash indicator. Aha, uh -huh, worked. Okay. Okay, that seems to have worked. Now, in order for us to be able to access the classic menu, we're going to have to restart the machine. So, let's try this. sudo, sudo, shut down, dash r, now. And I will resume the screencast when that's all done. Okay, and we're back. And uh, as you can see, there's that uh, little icon up there which allows us to access all kinds of stuff on the computer and we can get to the terminal this way. Okay, so since that didn't take too long, I'm going to try and install Sublime Text 2 on this machine. First I'm going to go to View and switch to Seamless Mode. And I hope I can get out of this if I need to. Okay, so the host is right control. Okay, here we go. Alright, so let's look for some Blind text two. This is a text editor which is just amazing, and I think you might want to use. At least give it a try if you like it. Great if you don't. Well, you can use something else. So let's uh, let's download the 64 64 bit version. Okay, and let's save file. Actually, I have no idea where it downloads to, so what I'm going to do is this. Copy the link location, and in the terminal, I'll go into my home directory at cd tilde, and I'll, I'll use wget, wget minus c. This is very handy because it'll resume downloading if there's an interruption. You don't have to download all over again. Let's see if this works. Okay, great. It's downloading. Okay, now we're going to follow some instructions. Let's close this window. Let's maximize that. I'm going to follow some instructions that I found on the internet where all good things are. I'll post the link here to this lib LiberianGeek.net. Uh, actually, yeah, that's that's the link for adding the uh, classic menu. But uh, there was also a good link for installing uh, Sublime Text 2, 
where is it? Uh, ah, here it is. Okay, now this is for version 2.0.1, and I'll post this link here as well on the, on the YouTube. But uh, we're just gonna have to change this a little bit to accommodate our 2.0.2 version. Okay, so here we go. Copy and paste. So this command is tar space xf sublime and then these backslashes are, I guess are escaping the spaces and etc etc. Here we go. Okay that seems to have worked. Now next command. And now that we've untarred it, let's move it. Copy and I don't think we have to do any edits. Paste and let's move. Ugh. I'm a clumsy typer. Okay, that seems to have worked, I think. And the next command is to make a link, symbolic link. Okay, now this command is actually going to run Sublime Text too. Um, it's going to um, it's going to create a launcher in the Unity. Okay, well, that looks good. We're going to open this file or create this file using Sublime Text itself, and then put this text inside that file and save it. All right, so let's do that. Paste. Uh -huh. And there it is, Sublime Text is open now. Let's copy and paste the text. So, copy. I'll put copied and paste. Yes, Control S to save. And then let's exit out of there. And what next? Okay, then one more thing we're going to do, we're going to use Sublime Text as the default for opening text files. I think it's a great idea because I think Sublime Text is just great. So let's do that. We're going to open this file defaults.list in that directory, user share applications, and replace all occurrences of gedit.desktop with sublime.desktop. So let's go. Okay, so let's maximize this. So we're going to do find and we're going to do replace gedit dot desktop sublime dot desktop and let's just click replace all okay oops replace that was replaced now replace all so it made eight replacements plus the one earlier it made nine replacements okay control s to save and then let's uh, let's exit out of here and what is it? Ta-da, there you go. You have Sublime Text 2 installed in Unity like a pro. Okay, so let's see if it shows up on in our menu here. So, programming Sublime Text 2. We can open it up, and it opens up our most recently open files. Um, this is a great utility, and we will be using it again going forward. Okay, so that's it for now. We have installed the classic menu. And we have installed Sublime Text 2. And next, we're going to look at installing what we need to set up virtual environments. Thank you, and goodbye until the next tutorial.